part two for someplace expressions. I go there. Oh, ten. Oh, ten. Yeah, ten. Oh, yeah, ten. Oh. I arrive there. Testen. Testen. Yeah, ten. Test. Yeah, ten. Test. I arrive here. Tachitzen. Tachitzen. I come here right now. Natsen tachi. Natsen tachi. Just as with go and come words shown in the first video, these are often accompanied with hiat go and anat come. With hiat go, oh means go to a particular place and suggests a transfer across a distance. Often the word oh is translated with the phrase go over to. The word hiat and oh differ in another way. Remember that you can combine hiat with the word prefix hiat go to as in hiat's in hiat town, I go to town. Since oh already has the meaning go to built into it, it can't be used with the word prefix a. Instead, it can be followed by a word prefix with a, be at, as in oh it's in hiat town, I go to town. The word tas and taji are usually translated get there and get here. The word tas and taji can be used with a prepositional phrase to specify a particular place. Tas de natas we might. I got there to the store. Or taji de natsa and aing. I got here to my house. The word taji is sometimes best translated as get there when it occurs in stories. Its meaning get here or get there is relative to where the action is taking place. New vocabulary words. Stot we. Stot we. Twi might. Twi might. And. Shtanghwen. Shtanghwen. Oh, Tanga Siel. Touch you, touch what they are. I'm. Ah, yet, and that's what you quite. No, it's not you quite. Be here, be there, and beware. Two very common and useful roots are ya, be there, and asla, be here. They are two of many location verbs in columns, e for an extended list. These can be generally used in sentences such as ya yatsin, I was there, or asla tsin, I'm here, to indicate the simple known location of something. My mother is there. Ya santan. My mother is here. It's where my mother is. It's where we are. They can also be used to indicate a special location as in Yatsa and luckily Yatsa Tsatsitan. For full translation, your key is there on the table. Or Asha Tsin Natsa Stoli. That translates to I'm here at the river. The ch prefix described in the first someplace expressions video can be used with either Iya or Ashla. For example, Iyatsin and Chashatsin. However, the a, sha, and a prefix in the first someplace expressions video can't be used with either of them. When the prefix is added to ia or asha, it creates nouns that can be literally, though clumsily translated, it's somebody's place there. Ya and it's somebody's place here. Asha. So for example, the last model can be translated as it's our place here. Did you notice the subject is marked by the possessive suffix? In the last model, we is marked by that barred L for our suffix on tsuasha. In the third model, the S, his, her, their suffix agrees with the third person subject, sa and tan, my mother. The tsuasha and especially tsuia 
are also used in other situations where English uses where. English uses where to indicate a location relative clause, also called a locative relative clause, or more generally, an adverbial relative clause. So you'll find out a lot about relative clause in the relative clause video. Okay, you should learn these phrases coming up. Oh, se not sa suyas chi snutkums. That translates to, I went to where he dove. Or, ahla yat se not sa suyas. And that translates to, I was here where we are. And the last sentence, kashst kwas yas kwa a ya English. Yeah, and that translates to pitch is where our houses were. And the last Quinoe. Wait, 